Let's do 10 Swedish words, female clothing. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. Yes, so five years ago I did male clothing and it has taken me five years to find a woman. And I found her, Ella Grundel. Yeah, that's me. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to showcase uh, clothing that traditionally would be found in the female department of a store. But you can wear whatever you want. Exactly. Good, Martin. Obviously. Yeah, of course. Uh, so let's go. Let's do this. And the first one is shul. En shul. And then we have en kofta. En kofta. Then we have something that sounds almost the same as in English, and that is en tunica. En tunica. And another one that is also very similar is blues. En blues. And then we have three different dresses, and the first one is en sommarklänning. En sommarklänning. And another version of that is en långklänning. En långklänning. And then if you feel like partying, you can wear en fest. Klänning. En fest klänning. And the next one is en byxdress. En byxdress. And then we have two pairs of shoes. And the first one is högklackade skor. Högklackade skor. And then we have something I have never heard before in this video was filmed called stövletto. Stövletto. And then we have en top. And top, which is different from a sleeveless t-shirt, which is a tank top. It is something different. It is what you want it to be. And the next one is en BH, en BH, which stands for brusthållare. Breast holder. It it is what it does. And the next one is trusa. Et på trusa. I mean you could say en trusa, but you don't really do that. You say trusa because you have two legs. And uh, the next one is en baddräkt. En baddräkt. A bathing costume or bathing suit. If you have a two-piece, it's called en bikini, which is the same word as in English. I know, very practical, just so you know that. And the last one is strumpbyxor. Strumpbyxor. Sock pants. I'm wearing my sock pants under my skirt. All right, that was a bunch of clothes uh, worn by a woman. Yeah. Um, how do you feel? <laughs> I feel a bit naked since I've like been undressed so many times. <clears throat> <laughs> we have people right outside, so there's nothing weird going on. Um, would you like to ask something to the viewers? Yeah, why not comment Ooh. clothing items that you would like to know what they're called in Swedish? Ooh. Because we didn't do every single, I think, no. today. Yeah. There's a lot of clothes left. And of course, if you want to check out Ella's uh, channel, I have linked her channel and also a video or maybe two videos yeah. uh, that actually have closed captions, subtitles. You can listen to her beautiful Swedish uh, while reading it in Swedish or in English. Yeah, and I know that some people use my channel as a like learning Swedish when you know a bit of Swedish, mm. since I often talk slow and easy to understand. Cool. So go check out our channel. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you the next time I've taken this off. Well, I feel great. Uh, I feel like smart. Let's wrestle. Then, ah, uh, wait. Ah, uh, now uh, film us this, you know. Okay. Let's do a bit. Ah, ah. I don't know if what you meant was film, or? Ah, yeah. Ah, ha. That's really cool.